Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here, and I am getting the pig! Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than one that should. Yeah, Hollywood, well kiss me, kiss me good. DC comic adapted sequel to the very surprising original film, which came out just a couple of years ago, Red 2. Once again, we have the character, our good friend, Mr. Bruce Willis, reprising his role as Frank Moses, finding out that there is now officially a new bounty on his head as he tries to lead a good life with his newly wed wife, played wonderfully by Mary Louise Parker. And sometimes we always find out that your greatest of friends can sometimes possibly be your biggest enemies. And basically he has to get the band back together, if you will, sometimes forcefully by the other bandmates. I'm talking about John Malkovich, of course, playing his character Marvin Boggs once again. Absolutely fantastic. And it is once again another rip-roaring good time, a great follow-up to a very fun and enjoyable movie. And the part that surprises me the most is the fact that this is a movie domestically in the United States that has not really gained much as far as grossing, but when you take a look at the numbers overseas, apparently this movie has surpassed $200 million. Thank you. And the reason why I say thank you is because when you really do sit down and enjoy this movie, one of the few things that really drives it is the cast of characters. Once again, they got the reprising characters, but you've also got uh, some new appearances of people like Catherine Zeta-Jones, and of course, you also have the great Anthony Hopkins. I can't stress how great he really was in this film. And of course, I completely forgot to mention Helen Mirren, who definitely has the, some of the best one-liners in the film. And it really is a lot of fun and very exciting, and I'm also glad to know that this movie has grossed that kind of money overseas, because there is no doubt in my mind that they may consider doing a Red 3. Because when this movie ends, you have that little feeling in the back of your head saying, I don't think this story's over yet. So I'm hoping that there will be a Red 3, because so far, two down, third time's a charm. It could be the closing of the story, and if it isn't, then I'm glad to say that Red 2 did a great job following up to its predecessor, and I am going to give Red 2 3 out of 4. And the question that I want to leave with you today, especially since we're now on the topic of DC comic books, you've probably heard it because the floodgates are now wide open since San Diego Comic-Con. With the success of Man of Steel, the Zack Snyder Superman film, of course we all heard the big news that was announced at Comic-Con, and that is Man of Steel 2, which is going to be released in 2015, is going to be co-starring none other than the Dark Knight himself. What are your thoughts on the fact that Batman is now going to be making an official appearance, and apparently a big role, in the next Man of Steel? Do you think that this is a really good thing as far as putting together the DC Universe? I am the Law of Gnome, and remember that actions speak louder than words.